getting hot too, I got heated grips. I wish there was a way I could turn that off. <laughs> Max, tell me what's going on today. Today we're out here, this is day three. We got Keith Curtis, he's gonna show us how to actually ride one of these things instead of just <laughs> winging it. I'm Keith Curtis, uh, Polaris Factory Snowmobile Hill Climb Racer and Factory Sherco USA Hard Enduro Rider. Also ride for Timber Sled. It's gonna be a wild adventure today. I wanna get these guys into some techie zones. Uh, lots of tree, technical trees. Max, if you want how to drop onto a really flat landing. No thanks. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there was a big drop yesterday. And Brock and Paul were kind of giving me the, oh, it's easy, you got this thing. And I knew there's something weird about this drop. Now these guys are waking up this morning like, oh, my back, oh, my neck. Oh, I got whiplash, I'm dead for a year. And I feel good, so I'm gonna stick with uh, the decision making I've been making. <laughs> <laughs> My neck's pretty sore, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> The hard part I imagine is transferring your weight from leaning left here to transferring around and then leaning back up against the hill, the inside the hill to the right, right. on this left hander. Right. That's the money maker. I mean, that's I'll everything. Go, I'll just try to go do a run through. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you and got. And then, you know, yeah. and then you guys we go We can here. experiment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I reckon I'm going down. Yeah, I reckon the same. <laughs> Should we go get stuck in that gully? I went in there. Should we go get stuck in it? You want to? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Welcome to the USA, Utah. So that's where the guys are hanging out over there right now. That's what we've been shredding. Oh, Keith and Brock have just done a massive drop together, spreading away.
What's up next, Brock? Well, since we got the uh, world champion hill climber here, and you're the uh, current defending champion on the snow bikes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, we found us a little hill climb here, up into the chute, up top there. Right, let's see Curtis go up here. <laughs> All right, next up, boys. I didn't want to go any higher anyway. <laughs> yeah. Second gear will drive right over it. I'm sure it will. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> the snow. Got to get up here to the tree and just get, stay to the right. You know, we've had enough talking here. All right. We need to see. All right. We need to see it happen. A little less conversation, a little more action. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Climbed up nice through some nice epic scenery. We're up on the top of the world right now, and uh, we're just having a wicked time. I'm just going to follow this ridge that way and see what other cool stuff we can find. Man, I'm feeling great. Having an absolute blast out here, exploring all different types of terrain, hitting some big bowl coliseum style obstacles, cutting through the trees, downhills, uphills, turning downhill before a cliff. Don't go off the cliff. This this just shows how the timber sled is just another way to get on your dirt bike on the on the snow if you live in an area with with snow you can get through the winter a lot easier and and these guys are seeing it's not just to pass the winter it's it's fun as much fun and just a different way to ride your dirt bike That was a good day. Too good. 
Too good, powder in the face. That was sick, dude. Yeah. Mm, go for it. Give us a wrap. All right, that's a wrap. Day three. Uh, killer day today. Day three, done and dusted. The shoot's finished. I've had an epic time. Thanks, Utah. Thanks to the crew. You're all epic. Hope you guys at home enjoy it. Thank you.